Hi, Libra. This is Jess with your October 15th to the 31st, 2017 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, Libra, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Jupiter in your sign. I hope you got the most out of it that you possibly could. I know it was not the best for some people because that Pluto square from Capricorn. So there was a lot of, you know, authority kind of, you know, bucking up as they say against you um a lot of adversity with authority that sort of thing um but a lot of a lot of libra libras really did um get a lot of blessings from the jupiter transit so hopefully it's been um something that has been very rewarding for you if it's still in libra enjoy 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 try to get your last little bit that you can out of it definitely it looks good it looks, it looks like it's going to be good to be a libra for the month of october now it looks like the only thing that some of you guys are going to be struggling with is your thoughts i feel like some of you are feeling stuck you are being combative and they could be with family because i get a lot of like family situations you know um you're worrying um uh, about some things and if you just will let that all go go just let it go just let it go let it go yeah just let it go if you can let it go um and i feel like some of that has to do with the fact that let me see i'm trying to figure this out guys okay so yeah with family children that sort of thing you may feel a little bit stressed but if you can let it go okay um i feel like you're gonna be so happy like letting the mental hang-ups go just just let it go you know just let it go is what i want to say to you because everything else looks really good and golden now it looks like some of you have recently got a job and i know i tend to say that to just about every sign because I, well it's general so there's always people out there getting jobs right and losing them but it looks like you guys have recently gotten a new job. So congratulations. Or you hired someone on if you do the hiring and firing, that sort of thing. But it looks like it's really good. Really good con um, partnership um, with this place that you're going to be working. Some of you went through training. And training could have been a mess. You were focused. You were doing what you need to do. But it could have been a lot of childish people. It's just like a zoo in that place. And now where you're going to, after you finish training and the place that you're actually going to be assigned that's good or um you may feel like your environment where you're working is a bit chaotic and hectic um and then it starts to dissipate and people start to kind of like settle down a bit okay um so you may find it's like just noisy in the workplace all of a sudden it's just really noisy and you need you need quiet you need to focus or it could be a lot going on in your life in particular and you're trying to kind of like focus on a thing specific but then that calms down okay so if you do your own business you have your own side business you you know um you make things because i get like libra's making things so if you make things uh you may find that your creative streak you may feel like it's gone to some extent or it's it's challenged by outside people energy that sort of thing but it's gonna die down so you'll be in a better environment looks like some of you are working really hard you may have asked for a raise and gotten it okay gotten a little bit more money so congratulations you probably had to beat out several people to either get a, a promotion um or look for a new job that's going to pay more money uh but i do feel like some of you are definitely looking for a new home or you're going to have a home like you don't know this right now but you're going to be you're going to be moving some of you know it and you're going for the loan now okay um so it's a good time if some of you feel like hey I, I, maybe i should apply for a bank account maybe i should apply for a credit card i'm not telling anyone to go out and get a credit card if you weren't planning to do this but if you're planning to do this it looks like very auspicious energy right now to get the things that you want so don't again with jupiter still being in your sign if it is don't don't sit around and twiddle your thumbs definitely let this last little bit of energy try to get it for all it's worth which will only continue to to persist because you'll have you know if you have libra rising then you'll have you know um, jupiter in the second house of income of earned income so that's more money okay 
that could be coming into you. So I do see like houses, people looking for houses is very competitive where you are. If you are looking for a house, it's like, damn, as soon as I start showing interest in a house, then the house is off the market. Someone's already, it's pending. It's, you know, someone's already, you know, looking into that home. If you do real estate, looks like you're going to find, you're going to have your clientele is going to be more couple based. Um, but you may have an unruly client, someone that feels like you're their personal assistant, their personal anything and everything. <laughs> um, and I feel like you may feel like I want to work with more couples, more established, you know, buyers, people that, you know, have bought homes before or they're a little bit older. So they're a little bit more, you know, committed to the process. You may find that younger people are a little bit less committed. They just want to waste your time and have you out there just to have you out there, that type, type of thing. Um, <clears throat> but Real estate looks good. So if some of you are going to school for real estate, it's a dog eat dog environment and industry is something that you really have to have your wits about yourself, which you will, by the way, have your wits about yourself. But it definitely looks like it's going to be quite successful. I just feel like some of you have to get out of your minds of the the initial fear of like, I'm not prepared. I don't know what to do. And that doesn't necessarily just relate to real estate. I try to put real estate in because... um. I feel like it's a viable industry and, and it's very like a niche industry. And so sometimes you just need to hear about it if, if that's your thing. Um, but it can reflect any area of business if you have your own business, that sort of thing. So again, feeling as though getting over the initial fear of like, is this going to work? I'm so green. I know nothing. How can I possibly articulate myself well enough to, you know, make a sale or to, you know, get a client or whatever your thing is. Um, but once you get over that initial fear, it looks like everything is going to be really going well. Again, I want to caution you because I do see like fights and arguments with family. So try to minimize that. You know, I, I feel like it could be because somebody didn't tell you something, but I feel like it's all like minute stuff. It's nothing thing where it's like oh this is just bad it could be like someone kept a secret and didn't say anything uh, making plans and you don't know anything about it you know that type of thing but I do see like you're worrying you're stressing yourself out you feel like you you can't move forward on something and you don't have any control when you do and you know the good thing about it is I see the ten of swords here and I see a, a few tens so that's good that means that you're kind of starting to change the page and what's great is that you also have aces here so a lot of things ending new beginnings starting um new opportunities coming for you guys and um if you work them properly um and you embrace it and get out of your head and, and let all that negative talk because it's just a lot of negative self-talk if you let the negative self-talk go because these are cards that is you're self-inflicting you think that this and you're paranoid therefore you're acting out and barking and that sort of thing i don't feel like it's coming from other people i feel like it's coming from you so knock it off like you really do need to stop it all right because there's really nothing for you to be complaining about and some people are like you know this is why i don't like just because just you know she makes it sound like we're the problem blah, blah, blah. listen i'm telling you what i see here so you're gonna have to take a step back and say well, you know, does this make sense, you know, what I'm upset about? Like, can I prove it or, you know, whatever? Or should I just like lay low and just save it to when it's necessary for me to pull out the guns? Because I feel like guns are being pulled out for no reason. Just because you've, you know, put in your head that, you know, there's an arsenal waiting for you outside the door and there's literally no one. So that's all I'm saying. Like, if you feel for some reason, like mentally... Your brain, your mind is taking you in places that it ought not. Your mind is taking you in places where it's like, what am, you know, why am I thinking this way? Like, da da da, whatever. That's where the da da came from. Um, yeah, try to try to see it in a little bit more of a positive way. Okay, um, that's all I'll say about that. But the great part about it is, with this ten of swords, you will get over that. Possibly in the first, probably by like I want to say like the first. 10 like by the first the J november you should be done okay or well, the last 10 days of october it's like okay i'm done you know i'm gonna let that go i'm gonna let it go whatever and i do see you doing that it looks like um in the second week you guys will get some type of good news coming your way <laughs> like something is gonna come to you you're gonna be so happy it's like 
once you hear it, it's going to send you to like cloud 10. Like, oh my God, I can't believe, yay. You know, that type of thing. Somebody could be coming to see you. Um, you may be getting something that you've been waiting to get. You may get this um, approval for a loan. You may get in, under contract with a home because I get a lot of that, like a lot of house stuff. Um, you may have a party. And I do see that like a, a little, but it's like a little thing, a little get together type of thing. Um, be careful because you, you're the only sign that I'm seeing that with some type of like family event, some type of thing. Somebody is going to act out and it's going to be drama with family situations. So just be, you know, be, be careful with that. Um, but I feel like with family, there's still going to be some worry um, around a particular person or situation is what I see. Now, <clears throat> as it relates to love, I do feel like some of you Libras are, especially Libra men, <clears throat> excuse me, you are, um, you found someone, someone new is in your life. Um, You've gotten more serious about this person at first. You really liked them. You had, you know, you were very um, emotionally available and you met someone new. And now I feel like you're being very clear about your intentions toward this person. And you're really working on something to build with this person. Like you're really wanting to build something real with this person. And I see a proposal. I see like a proposal coming up. Or will you move in with me? Will you marry me? Um, it may be like you may feel like their family doesn't like you or you don't like your family doesn't like them or there's some issues around a family situation. So family, there's issues there. But I do feel like you're building a more stable or more solid com uh, commitment together. I'm so happy to be able to tell whoever this Libra is. It applies to if that is and you would like to share please do so because I really want to just be able to say wow this is the person you know because it looks so good like I said um, you may be worried and it's just a natural worriedness of like you're making a huge step in your life you could be moving to live with someone if you're at a distance from them so you're at this pinnacle point where it's like you're so nervous and you're trying to decide, you know, am I making the right decision? And, you know, when it's time for a Libra to decide, it can be very difficult. But leaving all of the mental hangups behind, you're going to find that you're very, very happy with the decision that you've made. Um, and you don't want to go create no issues and problems with nobody's family. So just even if you feel like, you know what, this is, nonsense or I don't like this I don't like that just keep it to yourself because you you know that's family family ebb and flow so they could do all kind of things to each other but you bet not you know that sort of thing and you could be out of line and then it's like well you know you're not really the family so you, you know that that type of thing so just you know stay on your p's and q's if you're stressing out try to stay quiet with stressing out and um yeah everything will be fine others of you surprisingly enough i'm trying to look now um there may be two people there may be have been someone that you kind of met before but now you are kind of really focusing on a new person or uh, someone now has become like the the person like that person is the one there may still be people that call you or you know social media message you that sort of thing but you know who you want and you know where you're going with that um and I feel that um, I just see a lot of love. When I was putting out these cards, I couldn't believe it. And every time I pulled out the card, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, Libra is having an amazing life right now. They're full of love. Someone wants to take the relationship to another level. Someone is working really hard possibly to make a plan to either get a home, to move in together, just to really solidify this relationship and there may even be opportunities like some of you may be a little stressed out because your mate is leaving your mate may be considering you know broadening their business or um where it's going to take them away from maybe having to go someplace you know and it's like a little stressed about what their intentions are you know that sort of thing but i would say try your best to you know be supportive again the mental hangups will be your down won't be a downfall because i do see you guys getting over it but it's just like unnecessary damage you don't need to do so just don't say anything you know just try to keep the momentum and the energy 
positive, you know, because once you get on the other side of all of this cray cray in your brain, you know, you're going to feel good. But how are the other people going to feel that had to experience this with you? You know, so, yeah, that's what I would say about that. And it could be just, you know, a cycle like you're in your cycle or something and you're just very hormonal, that sort of thing. Or you may be dealing with someone that's like that. So it could be that issue, too. Um, very good reading, guys. Money is in abundance. Just more money and money and money and money. It's a great money month for you guys. Working with people is going to be good. Getting new opportunities from people. If you apply for stuff, this is a good time to apply for stuff. If you've been thinking about doing it, just do it. The fear is going to mess you up. Cut it out with the fear. Cut it out with the whatever. Just live in the moment for once and just make the decision and do it anyway. Do it anyway. That may be the tagline. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. You're going to do it. I don't see where you're not. I don't see where this thing is going to mess you up. It's like, oh my. But you don't want, like you want to channel this mental thoughts into how you're going to accomplish what you want. You know what I mean? Manifesting what you want. Because I do see like great opportunities in you manifesting the things that you want. And keep into yourself what you feel. Like if you're feeling like I feel like something. I've been thinking and I just feel like. Just keep it to yourself. Just keep it to yourself. Whatever is in the dark is going to come to light. Oh, it's going to come out. <laughs> Whatever is in the dark is going to come out. So just let let it happen. Okay? Um. So, yeah, um, I forgot just that quick what the tagline is going to be. But uh, um, anyway, so that's what I have for you guys for the last two weeks of October. I hope this has been helpful. If you would like to share with us how this relates to you, hopefully it is like everyone. Please do so in the comment section below. Um, I would love to hear how this relates. This is a good reading, Libra. It is a good, good reading. Just that mental part. If you could just let it go and just, you know, it's just enjoy your October. Enjoy it. And I feel like it's going to be longer than that, but definitely enjoy it. And if you feel like, yeah, I've been looking to get a house or want to apply for, you know, I want to get into this credit union or whatever the situation is, you know, um, definitely you should have already been doing that. But if you're doing it now, it, it still will yield some some um, great results. So that's what I have for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, I can be reached at the description box below as well as the beginning and into this video and if you are new to this channel welcome 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 and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care libra